I've been reaching out to the Army all week to try to get information as to why Jonathan Lee, someone already facing serious charges, was not in custody. Today, I got answers. But now my whole life is just about anger. I am furious. I am so angry, and I just... Someone is to blame for this. Somebody dropped the ball on this. It's now been more than two weeks since the love of Nicole Charcotti's life was murdered, killed while working, driving his cab. A law enforcement source tells us Jonathan Lee is a person of interest in the case. He probably put him at ease because he, he might have been in soldier uniform. Probably thought he was just going back to JBLM. He had no idea that this guy was even out there, that he was dangerous. None of us did. But somebody did. I got my hands on charging documents for Lee. He was booked into Pierce County Jail back in April of 2022, accused of raping a six-year-old girl and a seven-year-old girl. But a few months later, the case was handed over to the military. Here's a man who had nothing to lose. I saw the charges he was being faced with. I saw the circumstances, and nothing was done to prevent him from leaving that place. There's no bail system in the military. Instead, if you want to confine a defendant before trial, they must be a flight risk or will create future serious misconduct. I want to know who his commanding officer was. I want to know step by step. What was their thought process? How did they reach this conclusion that he got one more day? He got time to pack his things. Officials with the Army tell me Lee had no history of other crimes. He lived on base and reported for duty daily. Lee deserted just a few days before his hearing. I have no faith in any of their systems. I have no faith in them. I don't have faith in anything anymore. Tequila Police Department is the leading investigating agency in this murder case. I've been reaching out to them all week after Fox 13 News learned that that person of interest is Jonathan Lee, which Tequila Police has yet to confirm. They tell me they will not release any more information this week due to the respect of the family. Reporting here in Pierce County, I'm AJ Janivel, Fox 13 News.